In the previous video, we enhanced our basic CLI to accept options from the command line. We can run the command code evolution Pokedex followed by the Pokemon option and a value for that option. Although this is great, what would be even better is if the CLI was interactive, prompting us to enter a Pokemon name. That way, as a user, we don't have to refer to the manual to understand what options have to be passed in to make the CLI work. In this video, let's understand how to skip passing the Pokemon option and instead prompt the user for a Pokemon name. Step one, I'm going to comment out code related to the Yarks package as we don't plan to pass in any option. Step two, we're going to install an NPM package that allows us to add interactivity to our CLI. There are quite a few packages out there, but I am going to use a package called Inquirer. In the terminal, run the command npm install inquirer at 8.2.5. Version 9 only works with ES modules, so I'm going to install version 8, which also supports CommonJS module format. When the command completes, the package should be listed as a dependency. Step three, let's import and use the package in index.js. At the top, const inquirer, is equal to require inquirer. Next, after the print five moves function, we are going to add the code related to interactivity. Now you should refer to the docs for a better understanding about Inquirer, but let me go over this one line at a time. First, we create a prompt module. const prompt is equal to inquirer.createPromptModule. Next, we invoke this prompt function returned from createPromptModule. To this function, we pass in an array of questions we want to ask the user. We just have the one question and each question is an object in this array. We specify type, which is input, name for the question. This is going to be Pokemon and the actual question that the user sees. Enter a Pokemon name to view its first five moves. When the user replies with an answer to this question, it is returned back to us for processing. Prompt does return a promise though. We can use then block to capture and use the answer. Arrow function. We receive all the answers and we're going to extract just Pokemon. Here, Pokemon refers to the name property. In the next line, we call this print5moves function, passing in the answer that the user provided. And that is pretty much it. In the terminal, we can now run code evolution Pokedex and it starts our CLI in an interactive mode. It prompts the question, enter a Pokemon name to view its first five moves. I'm going to enter Dragonite and we see the five moves logged in the terminal. Really simple as you can see. All right, this is pretty much what I wanted to cover about building CLI tools. We learned that CLI stands for Command Line Interface and is a program we can run from the terminal. We learned how to pass options which introduces some dynamic behavior and we also learned how to add interactivity to a CLI tool. Of course, what we have learned in this section barely scratches the surface of what is possible with a CLI built using Node and NPM. This is a topic I would recommend you explore more so you can build a few tools that can help you in your day-to-day -day workflow. With that, we come to the end of this short section on building CLI tools with Node and NPM. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel 
and I'll see you in the next one.